And here we are on the 13th of September uh, with Rory Cowan here in Dublin. <laughs> I can't believe it's the 13th of September already. My God, <laughs> where is the year gone? Christmas will be upon us very soon. I know you all hate that, don't you? I'll tell you why. Oh, well, on the 30th of August now, if you're interested, in Dublin, in Brown Thomas's, on the 30th of August, they had their top floor all decked out in Christmas trees and Christmas decorations. Absolutely ridiculous. So I've done what I've done now is I've just I've decided I'm not going to shop in Brown Thomas's until after the 6th of January. That'll show them. <laughs> Bringing Christmas too early, it's, it's not good. <laughs> Um, listen, I just wanted to say hello to you today and uh, I'm not talking about anything I'm doing or anything I'm looking forward to doing or anything that's going to be happening in my life but uh, there's been something that's been bothering me for the last week and I just thought well if it's bothering me it has to be bothering a lot of other people now whether they agree or disagree with me they'd have to have some thoughts on it. A drink driving bill was passed in Ireland that means that if you are caught drink driving, even if it's your first offence, if you're over the limit, even just a little bit over the limit, um, you are off the road for a mandatory three months. There's none in this waiting until it goes to court and seeing if you're going, if you can get off on a technicality and maybe you'll be convicted, maybe you won't. You're off the road immediately. And I actually think that's a great idea. And what's, what's bothering me is there are politicians, in Irish politicians, in the Irish Parliament, the Dáil, and they are standing up and they are saying that one drink, one pint, one and a half pints. Nobody ever got drunk on that. And uh, people should be allowed drink and drive. I totally disagree. I just don't understand why people drink and drive. I, I, I don't get it. It seems to me like it's just a stupid idea. It's just like idiots who want to break rules. That's what it is. Um, if you drink and drive and you get caught, then you should be taken off the road immediately. I have no problem with that whatsoever. I mean, people should take responsibility. Take responsibility for yourself. You don't have to drink and drive. It's not endearing to drink and drive. Years ago, we used to do, before we were aware of how bad it was, everyone used to drink and drive, or most everyone used to drink and drive. And luckily, not as many people were killed as could have been killed because drink drivers are a danger to everybody on the road. Now, when I was younger, I did drink and drive, but ev and I said everybody did. We didn't know any better, but now we do know. There's no excuse for drinking and driving. We do know. We know that drink driving causes deaths. We know that you can save deaths by not drinking and driving. But what is it with people who want to put other people's lives at risk? I don't get that. I mean, and, and you see it in all walks of life. You see it in people going to an airport, getting on a plane. Ridiculous things. They get to the security gates and then they've got to oh, put their bags through the scanner. You'd swear these people had never flown on a plane in their life. They're taking out aerosol sprays, they're taking out liquids, they're taking out stuff that are in their bags that they haven't, that the, the, the security people are taking them out because these people haven't put them into, in, haven't separated them. Um, they're putting things like aerosols that can blow up in planes. Uh, they. They hold everybody up for a start and then they're sort of given this, oh, I didn't know what I was doing, I'm terrible, sorry, and looking around as if this Dolly Dimple act is endearing. It's not endearing. It's a pain in the arse. And then when they get on the plane, this really, really, really annoys me. Um, there are rules. And if everybody abides by them when you get on a plane, flying is stressful. So, I mean, you need to just get on, get off as quick as you can and just try and enjoy yourself as best you can. But when people do stupid things, like there's a reason why you've got to switch off your phone and switch off all your electronic equipment when you're on a plane. There's a reason. It interferes with the, for, it interferes with the workings of the computers and stuff on the plane that are needed to keep everybody safe. So for takeoff and landing, they all have to be switched off. I don't know how many times I have seen people um, just turning their phone upside down when the um, cabin crew are going by or they'll just close, they'll turn, the, make it look like their computer, their laptop is switched off and they think it's great. Oh, look, at I got away with it. <laughs> I don't have to follow the rules. Gobshites, of course you have to follow the rules. You're putting, the rules are there to keep everybody safe. And who are you to make, put everyone else's life in danger on the plane? What, 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 what uh, how do you even think that's acceptable? It drives me to distraction. I just don't get what I'm doing. It's not clever. It's not endearing to do that and to think, oh, look at me. I got away with keeping my laptop on or keeping my phone on when the, when the plane is taken off. And they don't even think. It's just the inconsideration. They don't even think. Your phone and laptop can interfere with the safety of everybody on that plane. I mean, this is common sense. 
It's, it's common sense, so don't be an idiot. And drink, drive, drinking and driving. Not drinking and driving, that's common sense as well. You don't do it. Drink drivers, they're a danger to everyone on the road, just like the people on the planes who are using their laptops and their phones when they're not supposed to. They're a danger to everybody else. And I also think if you get caught texting or talking on your phone, you should be off the road immediately. You're putting everyone's life at risk. I just don't, and I don't think there's any wiggle room for this. I really, really, really don't think there's any wiggle room for it at all. It's just, oh, there's some beautiful birds out there. <laughs> I mean, if you're caught drinking and driving, it tends, the people who drink and drive, they don't just do it the night that they're caught. They don't tend to do it like that. That's not human nature. They tend to do it over and over and over and over, and eventually they get caught. When they, got, when they get caught, really, it's not their first time drinking and driving. Take responsibility. Uh, you know the dangers of being on the road. You know the dangers of drinking and driving. So just stop it. I mean, hop on a bus, Gus. <laughs> take a bus, take a taxi, take a train, take whatever, ride a bike, do, do whatever you want to do to get into town but, and get a taxi home. Um, you don't have to drink and drive. There's no excuse for it. It's just people trying to, oh, I, I, it, that, those rules shouldn't apply to me. Those rules have to apply to everybody. And I also think that when you eventually do get your license back, if you have been caught drinking and driving, when you do get your license back, you should have to, I would go much further than the government. I'm, <laughs> thank God I'm not a politician, nobody'd vote for me. I think that if you are after you've been caught drinking and driving and you eventually get your license back and you're allowed back on the road, I think that you should have to, you can only get your license uh, if you do your driving test again. And also you have to have a certificate from some programme that needs to be introduced that can show that for 30 days previous to that you have not had any drink at all. Just to show that you can be a responsible citizen. That's all I really want to say. It's just all this stuff about, oh people should be allowed to drink this, people should be allowed to drink that, the rules are too strict. The don't drink and drive, it's dead simple. And that's just the way I'm thinking. And the only reason I'm saying this to you is because it's been on my mind for the last week since this was happening. So. There you go. Anyway, that's the rant over for today. I feel much better now. <laughs> oh, listen, I'll talk to you soon. Anyway, all the best. And look, me T-Rex badges. <laughs> Keep a little mark in your heart. That's me. Bye-bye. <laughs>